All right, the CF Moto 700. So that's the, let's say, crossover of, uh, of CF Moto. Curious to see, because this bike is, uh, let's just say it's cheap. It's 7,000 euros, including uh, side cases and everything. So yeah, these days, you're not, uh, you're not gonna get more value for money, I think, than, uh, than this bike. That's like a, a rip-off uh, Kawasaki engine. I already, uh, already wanted to say KTM because they have a lot of KTM engines, but not in this bike. It's not a, KT, uh, not a Kawasaki engine, again. It's not a real Kawasaki engine. Kawasaki also said like, no, this is not our uh, engine. It's not built in our license. It's not, uh, doesn't have anything to do with our, uh, with our engine. It just uh, happens to look a lot, a lot, a lot like the Kawasaki engines. So let's see. Wow, very smooth gearbox. Don't need to use the clutch at all to, uh, to upshift. You know, seating position for me is, it feels like I'm uh, almost sitting on the handlebars, but I just think that's because uh, they shifted the handlebars too much to this side. That's a bit of an issue that I had with all the CF Moto test bikes. It looks like somebody was just uh, fiddling a bit with the handlebars to make it fit like even shorter people than it's already designed to fit. So yeah, that's a bit of a yeah, you know, a bit of an issue, to be honest. Like why, why do this? Just leave it as it is. Leave it as it is designed to be. You can also tell that the levers are a bit too high just because they were too lazy to uh, to get the levers in the correct position they just loosened up this uh, this bolts shifted the handlebars a bit and that's it so that's a bit yeah yeah it's not not the best ah, it's not powerful not compared to the 800, it's maybe more similar to the um, V-Strom 650. Spoon engine, sixth gear, 50 kilometers an hour, and you know, just works. <laughs> you know, doesn't feel heavy. Probably also is not a heavy bike. So yeah, can't say I'm overly impressed by this bike. Just uh, for the price, of course. It's a really good bike. Huh? Gearbox 10 out of 10 for me. Really smooth. I'm gonna wait a bit, then I can uh, give it some gas in the corner. Screen, but uh, you cannot do it while riding. It's two knobs that you need to twist, adjust it a bit. So yeah. But as I always say, a bike with a windscreen it's just uh, takes some time for uh, for a person to adjust the screen like you want it to be. There are always some options like putting a little a little wind deflector on top of it. I did it with my GS and uh, yeah, best. 150 euros or something that I ever spent it's uh, completely changed the experience for me on the bike but overall for the price it's a nice uh, nicely equipped bike 7000 euros for luggage these hand guards I like with the deflectors over there so uh, overall it's not not too bad if you go into the marketplace, 
and you uh, put your budget to 7000 then uh, you can either choose like uh, pretty old Versys or very old Ducati Multistradas yeah, pretty old BMW GS's or you buy this brand new brand new CF Moto I'm always uh, wondering a bit because this uh, CF Moto test rides I'm doing specifically because my friend asked me to he's looking to buy a motorcycle and he is preferring to buy it new but the budget is not uh, like not very very big so yeah if I'm looking for myself and I need to spend the 7000 euros or a bit more let's say budget is 8500 if I need to spend this amount of money then I think I would uh, I would just go for a second hand bike because I think or at least for my kind of riding I would uh, prefer to have a bike with a bit more power like yeah where just everything is a little bit more premium maybe and that sounds very uh, very silly you know, like oh, but the premium bike blah 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 yeah the brands to be offer uh, to be honest uh, they don't uh, offer any more uh, value for me so if it is a BMW or KTM or Kawasaki or Honda I don't give a fuck what uh, what's written on the fairings I couldn't care less but it is just if you're riding a bike yeah from the like higher price ranges you just feel it it's just yeah, everything feels a little bit more uh, yeah, a bit a bit better because this yeah you cannot you cannot say it's a it's a bad bike but yeah you're lacking uh, lacking quite a lot of power just uh, yeah, there's no quick shifter all these little little silly details I would have to go for a different windscreen it's CF Moto, so there's not not too many options. If you go for a, for a Honda, a KTM, or a BMW, there is like uh, uh, like pages and pages of information uh, about all the different types of windscreens. So, keeping all of these in mind, I would, I think, uh, yeah, spend some, uh, yeah maybe even a bit less money and buy it second hand and this bike is like uh, it's falling a bit in the middle for me because this is really cheap uh, 7000 that's so actually really cheap for a new bike with all this uh, with all these options but yeah uh, I don't know it's not it's not impressing me like for example this year in the or was it last year yeah, I bought an old. Uh, let's. It was from 2014, so yeah, it is. It is old. It didn't really look old in my opinion, but yeah, it's an old bike. It was a BMW RT. So that bike is was priced at 7,000 euros, but it had 120,000 kilometers. So, yeah, if I stepped on that bike. And I was riding it. Yeah, that really that that bike just wanted that. You know, the bike was just screaming at me like, "Please take me to the to the mountains. Please take me to Luxembourg. Please take me to the Alps. Please take me to the Pyrenees." And if I step on this bike, yeah, then all I can actually feel is like, "Hey, please ride with me to work," because I can I can do that really really well, and I will never disappoint you, and I will always be reliable. This bike is more screaming this to me, so yeah, that just just doesn't really fit in my riding style. I can of course not uh, judge other people because I'm 100 sure if you're gonna buy this bike and you're gonna ride uh, ride every day to work and in the weekends you do like uh, yeah like smaller trips to to uh, to old nice places that uh, that Belgium, the Netherlands, France. Luxembourg, Germany has to offer. Yeah, that it's also gonna be uh, it's also gonna be a nice bike, but just yeah, just just different. I don't know. It's hard to explain for me. Maybe this is also something 
I think uh, not a whole lot of people are gonna buy a CF Mojo or go like a step back also in power that uh, that already experienced uh, let's say the yeah let's just call it the premium bikes if you experience the premium bikes uh, then it's probably hard for you to to take this step back and for me I'm not a professional reviewer I just enjoy riding bikes enjoy riding different bikes and giving my uh, amateur opinion about it then I think uh, yeah, I think it's just hard to, to take this step back. It's not a bad bike, eh? not, yeah, not at all. Because on the other bikes I could, or at least on a few of those other bikes, I was like, yeah, no, nah, this is not the best. That's not, the, that's not really well. The, the injection is not, not up to point. But this is actually doing everything well. I just think it's not a, yeah, if this would be my bike, I would probably uh, ride less than I was, uh, than I'm riding right now. 